Hi. I'm not sure if anyone's doing yet. And just to explain off top, Daniel is on his phone because there were a lot of people asking last week. We haven't mastered this whole going live thing between YouTube and Facebook. So he is on right now trying to make sure that everything is tagged. Our group is tagged and tagged and everything like that in the video before we get started. So we'll give a minute for anyone to come in and also for him to get that set up too. And I hope we got folks um, watching. If you're not watching us, turn on some Tucker Carlson or something else. I hope you guys are not planning on going to Monday Night Football tonight. If you are a patriot, I hope and pray that you're not. It was This was strategic, purposely done. We strategically done. We want everybody to know that we are not. We are boycotting. We meant what we said and we're doing what we said. Is there a way I can tell people if anybody has arrived? Yeah. Without messing things up. Okay. That actually looks pretty neat. Okay. So it looks like we do have folks here. So I'm going to go ahead on and get started. Um, two of the things that Daniel wanted us to really talk about today was the Kavanaugh um, case. We found out momentarily just a, a, a little while ago that the hearing is actually set for this Monday. And they are planning on having both Kavanaugh and the young lady to testify about this incident that happened in the 1980s, supposedly at a party that the both of them were in attendance of. Um, supposedly she was 15 years old, he was 17 years old, and he attacked her um, in a drunken state. He attacked her supposedly and allegedly and was proceeding to grind on her and so forth and so on. And she says that she felt unsafe with him. Um, she felt almost like he was going to kill her. I'm looking at my notes over here on the desk. But she claimed that she felt like her life was threatened by this act 30-something years ago. And I don't know about everybody else, but if I really feel like my life, and this is our opinion, we're able to express an opinion because I know some folks get upset, you know, even on the Republican side, they're like, oh, she needs to be able to have her say and blah, blah, blah. And really they want him to be guilty and to prove an innocent rather than her being the one guilty of lying. Because if I ever felt in danger of my life, I'm not going to keep it to myself. There's no way I'm going to keep it to myself especially for 30 something odd years there have been things that have happened in my life to me that I felt threatened or endangered in some way form or fashion and I made sure that others knew about it just because hey this was something that was extremely serious something you know near-death experience you know that's not anything to laugh at anyway she supposedly gave this information to Diane Feinstein in July and of course, classic Dem, what they did, hi Yolanda, what they did is they held on to it until right now, right before the confirmation, of course, classic Democrat tactics. I mean, they're strategic in what they do, which is why I keep saying that we also need to be um, strategic in what we do. We do as well, um, because... This is perfectly timed. Daniel said it's almost like he compared it to like playing a, a game of chess. You know, his comment about the whole thing was that um, they have made their move now. We have to make ours. And earlier today, I found out that President Trump did declassify um, 
the Pfizer report and information with that, um, we're leading up to the midterms right now. We are, you know, a small, doing our small part. We're a small channel and we're doing our little bit um, leading up to the midterms. We're trying to be strategic in what we're doing because we've brushed with some of the Democrats and we know what they're doing, you know, on their very large scale what they're doing in order to try to discredit our president, in order to try to take over the House and the Senate um, at the midterms. And so with that in mind, we were very pleased to see that President Trump uh, made his play today as well. So Dianne Feinstein supposedly got this from this college professor July of this year set on such important information. Um, she knew way back then that um, Kavanaugh was the nominee. And at that time, she could have easily said, hey, you know, this guy's got some things in his past. He's got some things that we're concerned about. But she waits until right now. The other part of it, I know you guys are all familiar, or maybe you're not, you know, maybe you don't watch as much news as I do. You might work or whatever, like my husband does, um, and I'm able to keep up with a few more things. He keeps up, but I keep up with a few more things, is that there was an, allegedly a friend there, um, a gentleman by the name of Mark Judge, and he was supposedly a friend of Brett Kavanaugh's, and he was there at the time that this lady allegedly was attacked. Now, of course, he has said that he doesn't recall any of that. He didn't see any of that, knows nothing about it. And this is this lady's only witness to what she's claiming, okay? That's not okay. Once again, I'm gonna say that um, out of the mouth of two or more witnesses, a matter is established. And so in this case, how can anything be established when your one witness you're saying was there um, says that they don't recall any of this or anything like this happening. Um, one of the things that was said today is that he's probably, his credibility will probably be attacked as well because he had some alcoholism, um, allegedly. Now, I don't know, it wasn't clarified as to whether or not that's been in his adult life or if this was supposedly at the time that Kavanaugh was also drinking and brushed up on this woman and attacked her and did all of these things, you know? Um, but at any rate, um, I just wanted to point out, you know, my opinion on that. Honey, did you, are you about set up? No? It's not logging on YouTube. Well, that's fine. We'll just go ahead with the Facebook. That's fine. So we're having some technical difficulties. Again, this is only like our, what, this is our third time doing this, trying to do the simulcast simultaneously between Facebook and YouTube. Um, but that's fine, though, other than we did a um, an announcement, a blast that we were going to be on there. But our YouTube channel is not really um, that big of an audience yet. You know, yeah, I think we've got like 460 something subscribers within the last month or so, uh, which is really good. But at any rate, back to this, um, dealing with something that happened in the 1980s, dealing with something that allegedly could keep a man from, oh, okay, Kay, give Bert our love too. She says they're driving, Kay says that they're driving to Arizona or I'm assuming it's both her and Bert driving, and they'll be listening soon, listening into us soon. Anyway, um, this, this woman that came out or whatever, she's a donor also of the Democrats. She's a Democratic donor. So she's got, you know, personal things mixed up in this whole thing. Um, she's got personal reasons that she would want to bring down um, Judge Kavanaugh, Judge Brett Kavanaugh, someone that we were excited about, although, you know, we're not going to get too concerned with it. We're not going to get, you know, fall out about it because we know that President Trump also had other, um, hi, John Trump. We know that President Trump also had other candidates um, for this position that he's hoping to eventually fill 
um, other positions with because we know that we've got other judges that are were you able to fix it or no okay okay that's fine whatever we just keep on pushing baby <laughs> anyway um he's got other judges that he had lined up and we had reviewed information on all of them when he first released the short list and we were very pleased with all of them um i know that there um were what about another four was it another four in addition to him in addition i believe it was another four in addition to kavanaugh don't quote me on that i will look myself up in a minute but um since you're off of that now that you have something you wanted to say about it i just been rambling on yeah i want to say that that the whole push of all this is really to get their agenda out and so what they want to do because it's it's really important that's why we were combining this the 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 uh brett Kavanaugh um pick and with the alex jones is because right now this is not about they're trying to make it about something else and they're trying to you know stop him and say he's bad he's evil he's this and that but this is about stopping um us from being able to protect babies the children that they want to kill and it's about pushing their their really it's really a satanic agenda so um you know we're trying to we're trying to stop them from doing that you know stop stop them from um doing that from killing babies and things like that and with alex jones you know them cutting him off whether if you know if you believe in the stuff that he's saying or not you know some of the stuff maybe he's a little radical or whatever but that's freedom of speech right and they're starting with him like he said to test it out and to censor us so that we're not able to speak and, and it's all part of their agenda because they lost in 2016 they lost and and if their agenda was completed then you know that, that was their mission it got derailed and they're trying to get it back on track and they're ready to do whatever they can to do that and um they're basically working with with foreign countries like china and things like that and then they're blaming trump and saying oh well he's working with russia that's nothing compared to what they're doing with with china right now and you know infiltrating our our stuff like that like like al jones was saying that they they kind of gave over some of our information and things like that and they're moving like apple and google and all that are moving to china and stuff like that so you know that's it's just it's really bad so you know by them doing that they're able to to really just infiltrate and get a lot of information on us and control things it's about their agenda they really want to push that agenda and you know this is big this is huge because if if kavanaugh gets in you know some of the stuff that they forced on us some of the, the gay marriage and the, the men being in the bathroom with our daughters and wives and sisters and mothers president and, trump already got rid of that executive order yeah and, <laughs> yeah but you know, as having a SCOTUS in there, they're able to really just just hammer yes. down and, and make it solid. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is a major pick. And, and so we have to get ahead of this. We have to get ahead of this and not let them censor, censor us. And that's why you guys please show support to us and watch and, and share. And it, I mean, this is really important, especially where we're at in California. You know, the media will make you to believe to make you hate California. Be like, oh, it's all Democrats over there, and it's just a loss. This place right here is is so important to 2020 election and to um, these elections coming up in November because you know they'll the media a lot of you this. California is very, very, very conservative, very conservative. There are some places here that there is a lot of Democrats in that, it, you know, it's like some, some bigger cities that, that'll have some in there, but all around that is red. If you look at the map, the majority of everything, it's red, but they suppress the vote and tell us, well, the media will make everyone hate us and be like, well, you know, California is this and that and this because Democrats have, you know, they control out here in, in the and higher levels, the but ground. we're, we're going to vote them out. We're going to get John Cox in there. We're going to vote them out. So, you know, and it's important because all the other states follow behind, um, the Democrat states follow behind what California does. And that's why it's important, because if we take that, if we take it in November, guaranteed California is going to go in 2020 also. Right. And we want to see um, a governor, John Cox. That's very important to us. We do support him. Um, we know that there were some people that felt like, um, he wasn't the guy for the job, but at a time like this, you know, just like um, President Trump 
is the guy for the job at a time like this. You know, John Cox is the guy for the job here in California because of the seriousness of what we're up against here right now. Um, there's a lot of things that people don't know, they don't realize that are happening here. And again, you know, like my husband was saying, we're the beachhead. You know, that was YouTube and Facebook, these companies that came together and decided to kick Alex Jones off the air because they didn't like what he was talking about. You know, um, one of the things I believe that he was talking about was this, is, is that Desmond is amazing, the little boy. Yeah, that he was they talking had. about the little boy that they, they basically had looking drugged up and, you know, they're dressing him like a girl and doing that. And so they, you know, they, they took him down for that. They're also saying that he's doing metal, meddling in elections because <laughs> he's giving news, just like we're talking to you right now, and we're giving you facts and things that we know, they're saying that Alex Jones is meddling in elections like the Russians. They're trying to connect him to the Russians and, and do the same, and that's why they censored him. They're trying to say he's meddling in elections. That's crazy. Basically, if you're not coming with a, a liberal agenda, uh, you know, then you're basically meddling in elections, like bringing, um, you know, illegals in without going through the proper um documentations and the order to, to to get citizenship that that's more meddling in elections than anything john <laughs> Kerry going over and speaking to iran you know without permission just going and doing and meddling that's meddling in elections right and and i was gonna say too you know when you were saying about meddling in elections and you were saying about the illegal immigration a lot of people don't realize that over in san francisco right now they've made it legal for illegal um, immigrants, illegal aliens to vote in certain elections. Um, yep. Dealing they, with the school district. Yeah. And, and you take that, for example, how, how she just said that. They're allowing them to do that in the school elections and they're allowing them to vote in certain elections. Illegals that are not even, um, you know, they're not even Americans. So that's exactly what they did when we voted on gay marriage. When we when we voted on gay marriage, we, we voted against it and in San Francisco, the guy that's running for governor, that's a Democrat right now, in San Francisco, start handing out marriage licenses. And after that, we have gay marriage in all the states. And that's where it goes back to what I said. Right here in California, is that's how important. It, th what we're doing right here is not just for California. California, th what happens here is really a template for what the Democrats are doing. This right here, if we take this, uh, man, I don't, I don't know how I can express how big that is. Because just like that, that's it's the exact same thing. So they're they're letting them do the voting right there. They're testing it out. What comes next is the legals are voting in all these states, and it, next after that. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why what, they're trying to stop that's what Marcus, covering up. Yeah, that's what Marcus Newport is saying too, and allowing them to vote. That is what they're doing. I mean, they we knew that this was coming. Come on, you guys. When you go into the DMV to do anything with your driver's license, your ID, or anything like that, that's the most prominent area that they have for a person to register to vote. It's the most common thing. As a matter of fact, um, our adult children, when I took them in to get their licenses, um, they were 18 years old in the state of California, of course, so they were ready to vote. They were legal to vote. So one of the first things that we did was make sure that we fill out their voter registration um, information and everything. And so when they started issuing licenses, to illegal aliens, I knew immediately, I knew right then and there, hey, this is just a stepping stone. And now, lo and behold, there it goes. Newsom, San Francisco has passed it. It is um, legal for them to vote. Like my husband said, they've said it's on a school district level because they feel their reasoning is they feel like if you're a parent and your child is attending public school, you should have some say so over their education. What about the parents that are paying the taxes out there for the schools and stuff? The parents that are legal citizens that go in and they clock, uh, they clock in and out of work every day and their tax dollars are going toward that free education for someone that's here illegally. Hi, Sylvia. We love yeah. you, too. And so those things are not thought about. You know, they want those dollars rather than going toward um, paying for someone that's illegally here. 
um, toward their education. They want those dollars going toward someone, make, toward um, their children's education themselves. There are music programs that are cut out. We're like really big on music in our household, even though we homeschool our children. I can understand parents' desire to have their children learn the arts, learn music and stuff. They cut out music programs and all kinds of things because the schools are just poor. The ratings of the public schools around here, they're failing. It's just ridiculous. And um, most of it, when you look at it, when you look at the school report cards, it's because English is the second language there. And there's a lot of, and when I say English is the second language, I mean some of these school report cards here in our area, you guys, the um, children's school, and you can pull it up online, the children's schools are about 60% English as a second language. That means that most everything, the children are not really going to be able to learn. And it's just horrible, you know. And so anyway, um, like I said, you know, we, um, yes, thank you, Marcus. We do homeschool our children. It's a decision that we made in our personal household. Um, we, my husband, pays for all of our children's school supplies and everything and um, our, the books and everything like that. But still, our property taxes that we have on our property still go into the public schools and stuff. And I would much rather see those tax dollars go toward American citizens' And education. on top of that, the kids are the future. The That's kids right. that are they're coming up now that they're, you know, they're taking over schools and programming them with the, their agenda that they want to do. You know, that's that's the future. They're, they're the ones that are take over after, you know, if if God doesn't come back and say different. But, um, yeah, you know, the, like we're saying, we're really the message that we're trying to really give right now is that this is this is really important. It's really just ridiculous that all this time, you know, out of nowhere, this lady comes out and accuses this guy, um, Brett Kavanaugh, of, of you know, mi uh, sexual misconduct. Out of, out of nowhere, like, where, where was she all this time or what pressing any charges or, or saying anything? And the Democrats knew this since, um, I believe, July or something July, like this, yeah. that the letter That's had came in. Notes, and, yeah. and they're saying it's not politically motivated, but yet they just come out of nowhere right when they're about to do the vote and come out of nowhere and just say, oh, yeah, uh, he did this. And it's crazy because, you know, I was saying earlier today that it seems like every time there's a major position that they want to capitalize on, like like this is chess, you know, they come out of nowhere with a with a with a, a magical surprise rape victim. They did it to Trump. They did it to Herman Cain. They did it to um, Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas and probably cool. probably others I can't name right now. But I mean, it's 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 a campaign. Hello, Bruce. Yeah, it's a I'm campaign sorry. tactic. So basically, you know, it's a spot up for grabs for the, you know, that, that I mean, the conservatives are basically we're 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 capital we're capitalizing getting this um, position, and we're getting that piece on the board and chess, and they just come out of nowhere with with rape allegations out of nowhere, and then you know mysteriously these people disappear afterwards. You know, win or lose. If the if the Democrats win because they came up with this fake allegation, or if they lose, it don't matter. The people seem to just um, disappear. Yeah, Jen Trump says they lie. Yeah, it's a That's complete the lie. Truth. It's a, they lie. That's yeah, it's the truth. It, it's it's really crazy. I mean, out of nowhere, just every time it's like a their their new bag of tricks. And it's I, not new. They've yeah. been doing it. We, I, we were just it's in ridiculous. high school back when they were doing yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> other time. But that's just that's ridiculous. That's yeah. all. I have to say. That, that's that's it's just ridiculous. And and they're doing it because that's the all the stops. Satan is trying to do what he what he wants to do. It's a plan that he wants to do, but he's already lost. We know that. If you're a Christian, you know that the devil has already lost. But he has, it, you know, he has a plan to, to try to take as many with him as he can into that fire because he's not in hell yet. But he's on his way there, and he want to take as many people. To, I mean, he's in hell, but he's not, you know, he's not in the type of hell that's the fire. He's in a hell that's absent of God, you know, right now. But you know, when he goes in them flames and burn, he want to take as many of us with him as he can. And so they're trying to push their agenda. And you know, Kavanaugh, he, if he gets in there, you know, that's a big win for us. Right. And Bruce says there are more of us than them, exactly. and we have God on our side, and and that's the truth. And that, and there's more of us here in California 
like I said, then you would think, well, then the media will let you know. Don't yeah. make them turn you against us. We need your help out here to take yes. this back. This bill was red for Reagan. It's going to be red again. Yes. And it's going to be great again. We believe yeah. in making California great again. We can do it. Um, we're not those. We're fighters. Um, Daniel has a background. I have a background. We are fighters. And we're not those that are going to just tuck our tails and say we're just going to leave our home and go somewhere else because Jerry Brown is there. No, we are going to let our voices be heard. We're going to fight and we're going to do what we can to take our state back and to get us back where we're supposed to be. And I wanted to touch on something, you know, not all of our friends are Christians, but those that are, you know, will understand that during the time that President Trump was running for office, we saw on websites, they were like, they were even putting it on the liberal news media. If you Google it, they were doing witchcraft and they were telling other liberals how to do all of these things to cast something on um on President Trump. Marcus Newport said, what you guys need? We need prayer over here. We need the word out share. You probably have um, Republican friends in your arsenal there that maybe don't know what's going on here in California. If your state is a shoe in for a Republican, because some are, then I asked on last week, Send some of those dollars over here and support some of our candidates. Support yeah. um, Send it to John, John Cox. Cox. Yeah. yeah. Send it to John Cox. You know. If you have a solid red state and and you know it's not, you know, it's no threat, send send some money, donate it to John Cox's um campaign because uh, this is important. This is this is important. This is not just important for California, like I said. This this state right here lines up for the other ones, and that's why they want to make you think that this state can't go red. This state goes red? Oh, uh, oh my God. I don't even know how to explain. <laughs> and we're and not talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger red. We're talking about real red. Yeah, we're talking and, about and John During Cox the 2000 election, like I, had to, I, I told my wife, and she, she was like, well, it's really Democrat. And I was like, no, nope, 2016. I was telling her, you know, it's, it, it's really conservative here because we will be driving and we would just see Trump signs. We weren't really seeing Hillary signs. You might see a couple Bernie Sanders signs. But, you know, I was looking at the area, and I'm from California. She's from Louisiana. And so when I started looking at it, I really started thinking about each city and each each place. I was like, wait a minute, this place is conservative, this place is conservative, this place is conservative. You know, just saying, well, you know, some of the counties in Los Angeles might be Democratic. There's some conservative areas out there, too. And um, and then you have San Francisco and Oakland that are, that are Democratic and maybe Richmond. But, I mean, if you, California I mean, is I, huge. Everywhere else around there is almost almost everywhere else is conservative. Yeah, I mean, I pull up a map of California. If you look at it, it's mostly, you know, from the um, primaries, it's mostly red. You know, mostly everywhere went John Cox as far as land area. He did not win that popular vote. And what was he but, was in like five? Five percent. Yeah, he's within five percent. The last that we heard, he was five percent in yeah. behind. Um, Gavin We're gonna take it and, we'll, it, 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 and mark my words. We take it in this coming up November, twenty twenty. California is red for Trump. Yeah, so I, I did want to get back before we close out because we've okay. been now almost thirty minutes. I did want to get back to what I was saying about the witchcraft because spiritually it was very serious we saw that and we saw that hey this is what they're doing and we know that hey you know they are activating their faith and their wicked um, beliefs and stuff we need to activate our faith and our christian beliefs and so we pulled out all the stops we fasted we made some connections with people that we never met before that we didn't know warren Tracy Davis, um, we met him or whatever, and we were fasting together with him and other people um, and really coming against the darkness that they were trying to cast on our president. He's now our president. And don't think that they've stopped. They continue to do this stuff. And every now and then, mainstream media will flash something to let folks know that, um, this is going on, that they are trying to put spells on him and stuff to stop Trump is the way that they put it. Yeah, and you you know, even if you if you're not a Christian or whatever, you know, I hope that oh. you find Jesus because 
really, uh, it's really, it's really, really serious because they believe in what they're doing. And, and believe me, it's real. And that's why you see them attacking the Christian faith and trying to force gay marriages in the Christian church and trying to t and have Christian marriages. They didn't go and try to have Muslim marriages and Buddhist marriages and none of this. They went and attacked the one and true living God. And, and that's, you know, because they knew that, that, you know, that's that's an insult to God. And so, you know, the, the witchcraft and all that kind of stuff is real. That's that's for another video, though. You know, maybe we'll get deep in that. Some of you might not be ready for that. But, you know, the TV and all that, it desensitizes just like all the stuff is on TV now. The adultery, bestiality, pedophilia, homosexuality in every show and every movie. And then it just seems like it's normal and they do something and you like laughing at it. You're like, oh, that's funny. But really, it's not. you just been desensitized. You're seeing something that's really sick. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I wanted to go back a little bit because Adam Griffith said if people are trained to be victims, they will vote Democratic. Yeah. 100 percent. 100 percent. And they do it from baby. I mean, we're black, you know, that's right. <laughs> so we know what goes yeah, on in our community. At, what's her name, Candace? Um, Always. Um, yeah. You look at her. She looks really upset and really passionate work, passionate and worked up that's because she was a, a democrat and she, you know and when you break out of that and you see that you've been being tricked all this time all this time man you you be so angry like wow this you know this is it was i was being tricked i was being lied to you know mm -hmm. so um we need to wrap it up yeah. though it's kind of so long anyway long. god bless everybody Love everybody. Yeah. Thank everybody for joining in. Hopefully we can get Sylvia to go on one of these with us. Maybe connect up. Yeah. Love you, Sylvia, if you're still there. God bless everyone. You guys have a blessed night.